Here you go. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 to 7. I'm going to read it slowly because I want everyone to hear this. For unto us a child is born. So this is human baby. Child born. Yeled, yuled is the Hebrew. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God. In the Hebrew, it's El Gibor. Mighty God, El Gibor. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So here's a child born, and he is El Gibor, God the Mighty. And again, to prove to my Muslim friend who asked that question, that this is the name of the true God. In Isaiah 10, verse 21, the next chapter, it says, A remnant shall return, a remnant shall return to the mighty God. There, the God of Israel is called mighty God. So that's one prophecy. Child born, a human baby, who's the mighty God. Second prophecy, Jeremiah 23, verses 5 to 6. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. Now notice the connection with Isaiah 9. In Isaiah 9, the child born, who's the mighty God, sits on the throne of David. That was Isaiah 9, 6 to 7. So it's the same child who sits on the throne of David. In Jeremiah, this righteous branch, branch of righteousness, that God will raise from David, the king, a king shall reign and prosper, and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. In his days, Judah will be saved, and Israel will dwell safely. Now this is his name, the branch from David, who's a king, who's the child born, the mighty God, to sit on David's throne of Isaiah 9. What is his name? This is his name by which he will be called Yahweh, our righteousness. His name is Yahweh, Jehovah, our righteousness. So he's not, he's not only the mighty God, he's Yahweh, our righteousness. And the third prophecy, because I'm going to show you now where the New Testament quotes this. After Jesus was born in the very place, this prophet said Messiah would be born. Micah chapter 5, verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah. But everyone pay attention, and my Muslim friend pay attention. From where? Bethlehem. Though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel. Again, connected with Jeremiah 23, the righteous branch from David, who's a king, the child born who sits on David's throne, same individual in all three prophecies, the ruler of Israel. The one to be ruler in Israel, now pay attention, how old is he? Whose goings forth are from of old, from eternity. From the days of eternity. So this human ruler, this child born, who's a branch of David, a descendant of David, to sit on David's throne as a king, he actually comes from eternity. He's eternal from the days of eternity. And where will he come from? He comes from eternity to Bethlehem. Now let's see where Jesus was born. Let's see if Jesus fulfills the prophecy. Because you asked for it, you get it. Matthew 2 Verses 1 to 6. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea. Oh, wow. So Jesus is born exactly where the prophet Micah said the ruler would be born. Now, after Jesus is born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? That's Micah 5, 2. The one to be ruler over Israel. For we have seen a star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ, el Messiah, was to be born. So he's asking the Jewish scholars, the ulama of Bani Israel, the scholars of Israel, where will the Messiah be born, el Messiah? What do they say? So they said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Now, David, help me understand. Even at the time of Jesus, the Jewish scholars of the Old Testament, when asked, where will the Messiah be born? 
They quoted Micah 5, verse 2, the prophecy that says this ruler comes from Bethlehem, but he's actually eternal because he comes from the days of eternity. Doesn't this prove then that Jesus the Messiah is the God-man? If he's eternal and he'll be born, does that make him the God-man? Sounds like it. Okay, so I answered his question. Yeah, we were taking a question from the comments there, but basically I thought that was a good question to kind of lead into this, that, you know, on questions of the deity of Christ and the doctrine of the Trinity, we're not just dealing with some Christian doctrine that arose later on in Christian history. We're not dealing with something that Christian theologians came up with. These things were prophesied in the Old Testament, and we see them revealed in revealed more fully in the New Testament.